karibu tena. Sera za ukoloni mamboleo ndilo tatizo kuu linalokumba uongozi barani Afrika. Akifungua kongamano la muungano wa mabunge ya jumuiya ya madola, Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ameibua hisia kwa kusema waziwazi kwamba wakati umefika kwa bara la Afrika kuanza kutunga sera asilia za Kiafrika ili kujiendeleza zaidi. Francis Mtalaki alihudhuria kongamano hilo na hii hapa taarifa yake. Zaidi ya washirika mia nne kutoka mataifa wanachama ya jumu ya madola wamekongamana hapa jini Nairobi kujali na kutoa mwelekeo kuhusu sera za demokrasia na ukuaji wa uchumi katika mataifa wanachama. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta akiwa mwenyeji alichukua fursa hiyo kutoa changamoto kwa mataifa kuheshimu michango ya upinzani. Aidha amesema upinzani una hadithi ya kusimulia hasa kidemokrasia na iwapo michango yao ina maana ni sharti kwa serikali kuikumbatia If our opponents arguments are better than our own then we should accept it and let it be It is our duty to hear our opponents arguments and to weigh them with an open mind Lakini kilichozoa msisimko zaidi ni kejeli ya rais kwa koloni akisema kuwa sera na maadili walizokuwa kizipigia debe haziwezi kulifaa bara la Afrika kwa sasa ametoa wito kwa mabunge ya jumuiya ya madola kuunda sera za Kiafrika na zitakazofaa jambo ambalo wabunge wanachama walionekana kulishabikia virtues that we fought for were wrong they were wrong because they denied the peoples of this continent the right to a say in their government they were wrong because they failed to honor our own rights to self determination and what they do of course uh, for 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 most of the african countries uh, they promise but they want to see africans fighting this is a good forum whereby we can hear our views and say no no if this is not done in your country what do you want it to be done here kina kikubwa ni kuwa baadhi ya sheria za mataifa 18 wanayotumia mengi yamekopa kutoka kwa muingereza aliyekuwa mkoloni mkuu Africa can come to witness the hotbed of vibrant democracy that is Kenya. Kongamano hili linatarajiwa kuendelea hadi Jumamosi na baadhi ya mambo ambayo yatajadiliwa ni demokrasia, ushirikiano baina ya mataifa haya, maendeleo, ubunifu na sera na msukumo baada ya kukamilika kwa kipindi cha maendeleo ya ruwaza ya mwaka 2015. Francis Mtalaki, KTN News.